When I first made Wonderland, it was back in 2009, and I was commissioned to do new work for Washington Ballet. At the time, I was in Siberia, in Novosibirsk, Russia, and I was there for two months. I was really lonely, and there was a replica of the town in a snow globe, and every day, I would wake up to the snow globe and just imagine the world that exists in this little, well, it wasn't very small, it was a massive snow globe. But um, it really intrigued my imagination and I wanted to capture the feelings and the emotions that I imagined and the relationships that I imagined that was in this small little microcosm. And Wonderland was really about creating a small world that purely existed on its own. And it's, it's a play on, the reason why I called it Wonderland was it's a play on words, a winter wonderland. And that's why in the middle of the ballet, snowfall happens. Not only is it beautiful to watch, it was really about the, the idea of the winter wonderland of the snow globe, but it I was also just really intrigued by the patterns that it created on the floor. And I used some of the pieces and elements of my choreography to enhance the patterning. I chose to, I, I wanted to match Philip Glass, the string quartet, and also Metamorphosis for this idea because I thought it was a perfect sort of match. It was minimal and it, you can really paint whatever you wanted to, but at the same time it created a great feeling. It really inspired me to create dance, and I think that's one of the most important things that a choreographer can do when they select a piece of music, is to select music that you think would inspire you, inspire the audience, but at the same time, if they weren't quite as amused by your choreography, they can close their eyes and enjoy beautiful music. I'm very proud of this ballet. Most of the time when I create ballets, I don't want to box the audience into thinking anything that I want them to think. I want them to find their own way and their own journey through this and find themselves through this. And that's the beauty of having an abstract ballet. I really do believe that this program where you have Balanchine, you have Bolero, and you have um, Philip Glass in Wonderland is it's amazing to challenge people in what they think that they like. And they'd be very surprised to find that they love both. This is what they think ballet is, is really nothing what they think ballet is. It's a really fantastic way and form to communicate emotion, movement, and humanity. I'm very excited about being able to be a part of this and help produce this because that's our job for the community is to enrich the lives of people that live in this community and that are part of dance and that not only um, entertain the, the audience base that we have and the fans that we have, but also to really help the conversation that ballet really can be for everybody.